Hey you guys and welcome back to Lipstick A Week. Today is going to be a video on my favorite lipstick formulas from the drugstore that are not liquid lipsticks. So actual bullet lipstick forms. I want to share with you some of my favorite brands and some of my favorite actual formulas. I have quite a bit to share with you because I feel like the drugstore is actually really good at doing lipsticks really well. Over the years, I've actually preferred lipsticks, like actual physical lipsticks, not liquid lipsticks. I don't know. I just, I went through that liquid lipstick phase for a while and slowly, like over the last year and a half or so, I've really preferred bullet lipsticks. I'm not including any of my favorite crayon lipsticks because I love crayon lipsticks. Those are like my new favorite types of lipsticks, like the NYX crayons and the Maybelline crayons. I really like those, but I'm not including any of those, just traditional lipsticks. Yeah, I guess that's everything I wanted to say. Thank you guys for watching and let's go ahead and get started. Some of these are actually kind of new and some of them have been like longtime favorites. A lot of these are like my ultimate favorite picks for lipstick formulas at the drugstore. These are what I feel like are the top notch best quality formulas you're going to find. I wanted to start with the lipstick. I'm actually wearing one on my lips right now and these are the NYX suede matte lipsticks. These are just ultra pigmented. They are so long wearing. They will last me through an entire day and they will really only start wearing away if I've eaten or drank a lot that day. Staying power is really important to me because I don't like to reapply my lipsticks. I know some people don't have a problem, like they'll do it at their desk or they'll go to the bathroom and they reapply their lipstick. For some reason, I don't like doing that. So staying power is huge. Really played a factor in what I chose to show you today. They have such a nice selection of colors. You kind of get tired of the reds and the nudes and the pinks. So when they have cool shades, I just love that. I love a brand, a drugstore brand being innovative. What I'm wearing on my lips right now is Cold Brew. It's a really, really thick and creamy formula. Cold Brew is perfect for fall. That's why I popped it on today. And then one of my favorite lipstick shades of all time is uh, Peach Don't Kill My Vibe. I don't know why I just forgot that. Such a nice unique shade and I actually think the burnt peach vibe that it has is perfect for the fall time. It's such a nice formula. I totally would recommend it. It might be my favorite bullet lipstick formula at the drugstore store currently. I just ate so much pho, my stomach hurts. So next up I have a formula from Maybelline. Similar to NYX, I feel like Maybelline is just really good at lipsticks. They've really nailed down their formulas. One of my favorites from their entire brand are the Intimate Nudes. I have two shades to share with you, Raw Chocolate and Almond Rose. Some of the most comfortable nudes at the drugstore. They are mattes, but they have a little bit more of a sheen to them. They're not drying on your lips at all. They have such good pigmentation. And again, I feel like they last a really long time on me. They're not the longest wearing lipsticks, but they definitely have good staying power. All of the shades in this collection are on the nude spectrum, so you're gonna find a shade for almost every skin tone. And they're not just nudes at the same time, like even Almond Rose, it's more of a pinky shade. Just such a great formula, so comfortable. These are like the comfiest matte lipsticks that I own. Really love them, totally recommend you pick them up, especially if you're into nude or neutral shades. I wasn't mentioning, mentioning prices, but the NYX ones, the suede mattes, are probably around $8, like they're not super cheap. They're not that expensive, but they aren't super cheap, and the Maybelline ones are pr probably similar. I think actually all of the formulas I'm showing with you today will be around the $8 range, depending on where you get them from. Another. Maybelline formula that I love, I absolutely love, are their Loaded Bolds. The ones I have in front of me right now are Raging Raisin and Gone Grage. They were just meant to be very pigmented and fun shades. Like this is Raging Raisin and it's just so rich and deep and all of the shades in this line are super pigmented. They have a little bit of a demi matte finish. They feel comfortable on your lips and they stay on your lips for so long. They also have some really cool shades like this one here is Gone Grage. Super stony gray shade. I love it. I would recommend the Loaded Bolds. I do think it's one of Maybelline's better formulations. Okay, and then we're getting into some Milani formulas. I 
also love Milani for lipsticks. It's not their liquid lipsticks. I don't actually like those, but I really like their bullet formulas. The first ones are like Milani's classic lipstick. These are their color statements. They're a creamy lipstick formula, but they're the longest wearing cream lipstick that I've ever tried. My favorite shade, I think, from the entire range is Naturally Chic. It's such a perfect, like, everyday nudie pink shade. I love it. Love the finish of these because they've got that sheen to them. The thing I don't like about these is the smell. They have that sickening candy scent to them. I really, really don't like the scent, but I deal with it because the formula is so good. The other one I want to show you is Rose Femme. This is kind of like a purpley mauve shade. I really, really like it. And this formula is amazing. If you are looking for that like iconic classic drugstore lipstick, I think the Milani color statements would be it. But what I actually love more than the color statements are the Milani Moisture Mattes. They are matte, but they are not drying, which is why they're called Moisture Mattes. The two I have to share with you are Matte Beauty and Matte Confident. Matte Beauty is such a good shade. I absolutely love this color on my lips. If you were gonna pick up any of the Moisture Mattes, Pick Up Matte Beauty, super pigmented, no streakiness, they last all day, and they don't dry up my lips. Perfect matte lipstick formula for the fall time. And Matte Confident is one of my favorite red shades. I don't wear red lipsticks a lot, but if I do wanna wear a red, I will typically grab Matte Confident. Could not recommend the moisture mats to you enough. They are really, really amazing. I'm sorry that I'm not swatching these on my lips for you in this video. My lips have actually taken kind of quite a hit over the last couple days with me swatching and trying on a whole bunch of lipsticks. So they're very dry and crusty and I don't wanna, I kinda wanna give them a break today. The last formula from Milani that I want to talk about are their bold mattes. These are my least favorite from Milani, like out of the three I'm showing with you, these this is my least favorite formula, only because they are the most drying, especially in colder weather. I find my lips kind of crack a little bit when I wear these, but if you want something just a little bit more matte and intense than the moisture mattes, definitely grab the bold mattes instead. This one is in the shade Fierce, and it is a really fun, vibrant red. This one is I Am Confident. This is kind of like Rage and Raisin, I guess, from Maybelline. Really grown to like these. Definitely be aware that these are more drying. Probably the most drying lipstick formula that I am sharing with you today. We're getting down to the bottom two. These two formulas are newer to me and I actually have filmed videos on them for lipstick week. I don't know if they're out already, but if not, you'll see them this week sometime. But I wanted to talk about the Catrice Ultimate Matte Lipsticks. They aren't new at the drugstore, but they are new to me. I have the shade 050 and I have the shade 090, which is probably my favorite one. It's just this perfect like rosy nude shade. These are so, so, so matte on the lips. They dry down on your lips, but they don't feel drying. They also last a super duper long time. Like I will wear one of these in the morning and by the time I get home from work, they're still on my lips. They definitely last through a meal. They're not patchy or streaky. They're just really, really good. They're also like $4. Catrice is a pretty affordable makeup brand. All the other ones, like I mentioned, they're kind of up there in prices, like between 10, eight and $10, but these ones are like four or $5 at Shoppers. So definitely check them out if you want the most matte lipstick at the drugstore. But because they're so matte, just be aware that they're gonna be a little more drying. They don't really dry out my lips, but just be aware if you are sensitive to drier formulas, these ones are a tad, dryer. Definitely think these are worth the price and one of the better lipstick formulas at the drugstore. And last but certainly not least are the Essence. This is nude lipsticks. I love these. I've been pretty much reaching for these every single day this week. They are just so, so good. Really affordable. Like again, they're like three or four dollars. This is the shade Bold and it's like my favorite nude at the moment. They are a cream finish. They are all different shades of nude and they last really well on my lips. I don't know if it's just because they fade nicely into your like natural lip color, but they just seem to still 
be on my lips at the end of the day. This one here is in the shade Real, which is also one of my favorites. Like these two are probably my favorites from the four shades that I've tried. I really like this formula. It's just so, so comfortable. They look beautiful on your lips and they're just great for the price point. Like I could not not mention them. Only thing that I don't like about them is the smell. They have that like gross, sweet, like fruity, sweet, candy-ish scent. Actually, the Catrice ones also have that scent. I don't like the scent at all, so I wish it didn't have that scent. Other than that, I really like them, and I don't think you can really beat this formula for the price point. So that wraps up this video. These are the lipsticks that I would recommend you buy if you're looking for a traditional bullet lipstick formula at the drugstore. I think these are the best ones that are currently available. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I hope you're enjoying lipstick week. You can catch the rest of my videos from this week in the description bar. I'll leave a link to the playlist. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you tomorrow.